Good day mga kamatiniks, this is Sir Jay once again and for today's topic, I am going to discuss to you about arithmetic sequence. Mayroon tayong dalawang example na pinrepair. Okay? So dito sa ating example, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung dalawang method kung paano natin siya isosolve. Yung first method ay yung uh, medyo mahaba siya at yung pangalawang method is yung shortcut. Okay? So yung pangalawang method, abangan ninyo, tapusin ninyo yung video para malaman ninyo kung paano masosolve yung ating uh, arithmetic uh, sequence or problem involving arithmetic sequence. Kung paano siya masosolve in a shortcut way or shortcut method. Okay, but first, ipapakita ko muna sa inyo yung usual na pag-solve natin sa ganitong klase ng problem involving arithmetic sequence. Okay, so I have here example number one. The fifth term and the tenth terms of an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so the fifth and tenth terms of an arithmetic sequence are 20 and 40 respectively. So find the eleventh term. Okay, so para masolve natin siya, of course, gagamitan natin siya ngayon ng ating formula. Okay, yung formula natin sa ating arithmetic sequence. Yung formula natin. So, first method muna tayo. Okay, yung first method natin. Papakita ko muna sa inyo kung paano yun, ha? Bago tayo mag-proceed sa shortcut. So, sa first method, of course, gagamitin natin yung ating formula na a sub n. a sub n equals a sub 1 plus quantity of n minus 1. Binomial n minus 1 times d. Okay? Ayan. So, yung a sub n, ito yung ating nth term. Yung a sub 1 is the first term. Yung n is the number of terms. At yung d is the common difference. Okay? So, yung ating fifth term muna tayo. Dito muna tayo sa fifth term mag-umpisa. So, yung fifth term natin dito is... Uh, 20, right? Okay, so 20. So we have 20. Yung a sub n, palitan mo lang siya ng 20, equals a sub 1, ito yung wala, plus yung ating n dito is 5. Okay, 5. Kasi yung fifth term yung ating ginamit. So 5 minus 1 times d. Yung d is wala rin. So simplify this, this will become 20 equals a sub 1 plus 4d. Okay? Ayan. So, ito yung ating first equation dito. First equation. Okay? Ngayon, hanapin natin yung pangalawang equation. So, yung pangalawang equation natin is, ito namang 10th term. So, ano ba yung ating 10th term? Yung 40. Ito yung ating 10th term, yung 40. So, 40 equals a sub 1 plus Okay, so ito ay magiging 10 minus 1. Yung ating n dito is 10 kasi yung 10th term, yung 40 is the 10th term. So 10 yung ating n dito. So 10 minus 1 times d. Okay? So 40 equals a sub 1 plus 10 minus 1 is 9. So 9 times d. So ito ngayon yung ating second equation. Ito yung ating pangalawang equation. And... By process of elimination, mag elimination tayo yung ating first equation at saka second equation. So, we have here at 40 equals a sub 1 plus 9d. Okay? My, ito yung ating second equation. Ima-minus natin siya dito sa ating first equation. So, that is 20 equals a sub 1 plus 4d. So, we will do the process of elimination. Ayan. So, para ma-eliminate yung a sub 1, pwede na nating eliminate agad yan by subtracting the two equations. So, simply isa-subtract lang natin yung dalawang equation. Okay? So, we have 40 minus 20 is 20. Right? Okay. Equals. Cancel na tong a sub 1. Maka-cancel na yan. Okay ha? Maka-cancel na yan. And then, 9 minus 4 is 5D. So, yan ay 5D. 
Then divide both sides by 5. Divide both sides by 5. So yung ating common difference dito, yung ating common difference is D equals 4. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Right? Okay, ayan. So yung ating D ay 4. So mayroon na tayo ngayon common difference. So pwede na nating mahanap yung ating A sub 1 dito. Okay? So hanapin na natin yung ating A sub 1. So pwede guma pwede kahit alin dito sa ating dalawang equation ang iyong gagamitin. So ito yung ating gagamitin yung ating second equation. So 40 i-substitute lang natin ha. So 40 equals A sub 1. Okay, 40 equals A sub 1 plus 9 times 4. Okay? So, we have 40 equals A sub 1 plus 9 times 4 is 36. And, okay, so we will use now the APE, okay, or the addition property of equality, wherein we will add uh, negative 36 on both sides. So, we will add negative 36 on both sides. So, this will become 40 uh, minus 36 na yan equals A sub 1. Okay? So, 40 minus 36 equals A sub 1. Kasi we will add negative 36 on both sides. So, makakancel na yung 36 dito sa right-hand side ng ating equal sign. At dito naman sa, 40, uh, dito sa left-hand side, yan ay magiging 40 minus 36 and that is equal to 4. So a sub 1 is equal to 4. So ito ngayon yung ating a sub 1. So mayroon na tayong a sub 1. Ang hinahanap dito is yung 11th term. Okay, yung 11th term. So para mahanap yung ating 11th term, we have here gagamitin na natin yung ating ano kanina, yung ating equation kanina. So a sub 1, pwede natin gamitin yung 5. So, pwede natin gamitin kanina yung pinakauna natin. Uh, 5. Okay, di ba yung 11th term yung ating hinahanap dito? Okay, so A sub 11. Meron na tayong A sub 1 eh. Okay, again ha, yung ating A sub 1 is 4. At yung ating D is 4 also, or the common difference. So, meron na tayong A sub 1. Mayroon na rin tayong common difference. So, isolve na natin yung ating using the equation na a sub n equals a sub 1 plus quantity of n minus 1 times d. So, yung 11th term yung ating hinahanap. So, a sub 11 equals, yung a sub 1 natin ay 4 plus 11 minus 1 times 4. Okay? And that is equal to 4 plus 11 minus 1 is 10. Okay, 10 times 4. Ayan, okay? So, 11 minus 1 is 10. So, 10 times 4 is 40. 40, 40 plus 4 is 44. So, that is our A sub 11. Okay, so the 11th term is 44. Ngayon, mayroong shortcut na me. Mayroong shortcut na meto dito kung paano natin siya masosolve ng mas madali. Ito yung second. Ah, uh, ito yung ating shortcut method dito. Okay, second method. Ito. Okay, ito yung mas madaling way para masolve natin siya. Ima-minus lang natin itong ating fifth at saka 10th term. So, dito sa taas is itong 20 at saka 40, di ba? Ayan. So, 40 minus 20 over itong 10 minus 5. Okay, 10 minus 5. So, 40 minus 20 is equal to 20. 20 yan. Then, 10 minus 5 is 5. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Right? 20 divided by 5 is 4. Yung 4, ito yung iyong common difference. Ito yung common 
difference. Yung common difference is yung 4. Okay? So, yung ating 10th term, ang hinahanap kasi 11th term, di ba? So, yung 10th term natin is 40. Ito yung 10th term. So, mag-add ka lang ng 4 kasi yung common difference is 4. Eh. So, 40 plus 4 equals 44. And that is the 11th term. Okay, di ba? Mas madali. Example number two. The third and sixth term of an arithmetic sequence are 34 and 67 respectively. What is the fifth term? Okay, so, yung shortcut na method lang din ng ating gagawin dito. So, ito yung ating solution. Ima-minus lang natin yung ating third at saka sixth term na value. So, 67... 67 minus 34. Okay? 67 minus 34 over 6 minus 3. Ayan. So, 67 minus 34 is 33. Tama? Okay, and then 6 minus 3 is 3. So, 33 divided by 3 is 11. 11 po yan ha? 11. Okay, so 11 is yung ating common difference. The common difference is 11. So, ngayon, since yung hinahanap is yung fifth term, di ba yung ating sixth term ay 67? 67 yung ating sixth term. So, ang mangyayari dito, ima-minus lang natin siya. Magma-minus lang tayo ng 11. So, 67 minus 11 is equal to, uh, that is 56, right? Okay, so 56. So, that is our fifth term. 56. So, hindi na tayo gagamit nung uh, mahabang version ng method para sa pag-solve ng ganitong klaseng problem. So, mayroon tayong shortcut method. Ito, sobrang dali lang. Pwede mo siyang i- uh, what do you call this? I-mental. I-solve mo siya mentally. So, pwede mo siyang i-solve mentally using this method. So, that's all. I hope you learned a lot. Thank you for listening. Kita-kits ulit, mga kamatimatics.